And don't forget, it goes x cubed, x squared, and then we're missing an x, so we have to put a zero in the spot. Sorry, that's all about the eraser. Did you ever have those days when you just hungry? Mm -hmm. You woke up starving, and I didn't eat breakfast, and now I'm just like, oh, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Two more periods. I'm going to die. I'm feeling a little dramatic. I'm not going to die. <laughs> Stay in place. Okay. I'm going to start. And if you're not done, that's okay. I'm just kind of pick up. So I have x minus 3 equals 0. Oops. So x equals 3. So in the box, I put 3. And then 3, k, 0, and negative 5. Because I don't have a 0x. I don't have an x, I should say. All right. So... Bring down the 3, I get 9. Add those, I get k plus 9. 3 times k plus 9, I got to distribute. So it's 3k plus 27. Add those, it's 3k plus 27. Multiply by 3, again, I have to distribute. So it's 9k plus 81. When I add those, I can add the negative 5 and the 81, which really means I subtract. So that's 9k plus 76, 72, 76, yep. Okay, then I'm supposed to get a remainder of 4. So 9k plus 76 equals 4. Subtract 76, so I get negative 72. Divide by 9, get k is negative 8. Is that what I had, or did I put 8? I had negative 8. Okay, good. Huh. Alrighty. Okay, so here's where it becomes important. So this is kind of leading to what we're going to be doing is we're going to want it to have a remainder of zero because we want it to have a factor. So this is where this stuff is leading to. Same kind of problem. I would take x plus 1, set it equal to zero, get negative 1. So in the box, I put negative 1. I am missing some things. I don't have a cubed. I guess that's the only thing I'm missing. So I have negative 1, so then there's not a number in front, and then 0, and negative 2, k, and negative 6. Okay, first number comes straight down. Multiply number in the box times the number under the line, that's 1. Then add. Number in the box times the number under the line, that's negative 1. Then add. Number in the box times the number under the line, that's 3. Then add. That's k plus 3. Number in the box times the number under the line, that's negative k minus 3. I can put the negative 6 and the negative 3 together, so it's negative k minus 9. And I want it to equal 0. So I add 9 and divide by negative 1. k is negative 9. Oh, 
Okay, number four is a little bit different. It says, suppose the function g of x is divided by the factor x minus 2, which is greater than the value of g of negative 2, or the remainder when g of x is divided by x minus 2. Show your work. Well, we want to go, oh wait, they're the same. But no, because if we're dividing by the factor x minus 2, then that's x equals 2. So g of 2 and x equals 2 would be the same. Or f of g of, sorry, 2 would be the same. Yeah. So I just have to do both of them. So if I'm taking g of x and I'm dividing it by 2. Ooh. Do we want to do it that way? Are we just trying to find the remainder? Let's just do g of 2. Suppose the function is divided by the factor, which is greater, the value of g of negative 2, or the remainder. Yeah, we can find the remainder just by plugging in 2, right? We don't have to actually divide it out. We know the remainder is the same thing as when we plug in a 2. So that's 3 times 2 squared. Minus 2 times 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 minus 2. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm over here. Um, so it's 3 times 4 minus 2 times 8 plus 6 minus 2. So all my 16 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So g of 2 is 0. So the remainder, if I divide by x minus 2, is 0. So now for the next one, I want the remainder, or the value of g of negative 2. So I do the same thing, only this time I'm going to plug in negative 2. So I'm going to put it down here so I don't run out of room. I have 3 times negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 cubed plus 3 times negative 2 minus 2. So it's 3 times 4 minus 2 times negative 8 minus 6 minus 2. 12 plus 16 minus 6 minus 2. 28 minus 6 is 22. 22 minus 2 is 20. So, uh, which is greater? The value of g of negative 2? Yes, this one's greater. 